हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू मेटाफर कंसल्टिंग लर्निंग चैनल टुडे वी आर ट्राइंग टू लर्न आल्सो डीपली अंडरस्टैंड हाउ जी आर कॉमनली नोन इट एज द गुड्स रिसिप्ट कैरिड आउट इन एम्बेडेड ईडब्ल्यूएम सिस्टम रेफरिंग टू एसएपी एस4 HANA 2022 एनवायरनमेंट since sap s4 hana 2022 environment is the latest environment therefore many of our friends are finding a lots of challenges and they are not able to resolve the gr related issues that we are going to learn one after so before jumping to the sap there are some prerequisite to do gr in ewm embedded system before going to ewm i just have to tell you couple of things first of all ewm worked in decentral as well as embedded platform so 2022 brought off embedded platform where everyone is in a single box referring to that definitely there are many challenges we also faced many challenges we are trying to sort it out all the issues here and display you the navigation pane however any job seekers or any of our friends are still referring this video finding the challenges comment in the chat box will definitely help them and we will be openly help them don't worry we are in the back end so now moving to the topic how we can able to do the grn in the embedded system first of all the prerequisite section in the prerequisite section we must have a purchase order the another prerequisite is we must have a inbound delivery now have to create a inbound delivery first definitely purchase order we know very well how to create another thing i just have to tell you based on the sod segregation duty in terms of segregation duty or considering to the segregation of duty the purchase order creation as well as inbound delivery creation is the part of im inventory management however task which is called the warehouse task and the gr goods receipt is the part of ewm department now another thing also i am trying to highlight that you can able to do grn or gr with warehouse task without warehouse task so first of all in this session we will be represent the entire activity without warehouse task but yes someone is interested to know how after warehouse task the grn or gr carried out through ewm that also be released in our another video and available in the i button so please refer to the i button there you will get the necessary information now let's have to put the purchase order number in the purchase order field so currently we created a purchase order number and same thing we can place in the purchase order field referring to the external id we are giving some description over here like gr carried out for ewm system press enter and go ahead next two things again you can able to remember that is you can able to create a batch over here if your material is batch managed or else you can able to create batch at the time of gr2 that facility is available since this batch creation at the time of im or inbound delivery creation is very very easy 
So that is the reason this process we are not going to display over here. Everyone can do it. It is a very simplest task. But yes, we can able to generate a auto batch at the time of boost receptor through EWM embedded system. Now let's save this particular inbound delivery and wait for the system confirmation. So inbound delivery is available with us. This is the inbound delivery number. As we already convoked that we will be create the GR referring to the inbound delivery and not able to create the warehouse task in this particular session. So what we can do? We have to switch for the transaction code of slash n slash scwmprdi. Now, once you press enter, you will be find this kind of interface where you can able to put your order number. That is called your inbound delivery. Before going to execute, I just have to tell you that yes, we have to cross check the MMBE and there you will be find it out that what are the stocks are presently available for this particular material. So that will be confirmed whether the GR is successfully happened or not. So this is the MMBE and here we can able to refresh. Once we refresh, we understand 28 each is available in quality inspection and 16 each is available in unrestricted. So switch on to our session where we can able to do the GR. For doing the GR, there are few steps you have to follow and by using these steps, you can do the successful GR in EWM embedded system. First of all, execute. Once you execute, you can see here the red color is display over here so here first of all you have to create a batch because it is a batch managed material currently you won't see any batch over here currently we are highlighting there is no batch is available so how we are going to create a batch for creating a batch click here and go for the creation of batch once you click here you can see that a batch is automatically get created now go for the production data so production date we can able to give it as the today date best before date so again best before date also we can able to create as the this many date so i just have to modify the date of this one after that what will happen we have to give the vendor batch number so here i can able to give the vendor batch number is this one once we did, you can see there is a green color is coming into the picture and very quickly we'll be go to the goods receipt tab and click over there. Once we click, goods receipt is coming into the picture and we'll be do that. You can see here there is a batch number called this one. So copy this batch number and go to the MMB screen. Before to that, just refresh. Once should be refresh, is there any stock is being changed? We can see that yes, stock is falls under the quality inspection. To, uh, to each is comes under the quality inspection. Prior to reconfirm, what we can do, we have to put the batch number over here and execute. So that this particular stock, where it is being, that system can display. So I do understand many of our friends is also wondering how the quality inspection lot get generated after EWM GR successfully happened. This is also a challenge. We also faced these challenges in the embedded SAP EWM system. It is also a long struggle. And after that, how the lot is going to get clear? So in short, I am trying to explain to everyone the integration between EWM to QM, how it is going to perform, interested to learn, then definitely prefer the I button. There, we 
already uploaded the video and it will give you the concrete idea. There are certain parameters in the quality inspection lot itself, how you can able to accept, how you can able to reject, how you can do it the partial one, all these are very much tricky and for understanding those, definitely refer that valuable video, it will be help you out. But this session is related how to do the GR in the embedded EWM system. So this is a holistic view, we represent it in front of everyone. So thank you guys, those who are available in this particular forum. One thing we just want to highlight from the organization prospect, this organization metaphor consulting not only give the training but also giving 100% placement to their students. So those who are interested to make their career, helpline number is available, they can able to directly use this for the further clarification. So guys, we are requested to everyone, please like, share and subscribe, it will be motivate us. And definitely we also know from your side if this particular video is helpful and surfacing your requirement and upgrading your skills. So definitely like us, we will be more happy. Thank you guys. Thank you for the precious time and watching our video. Thanks a lot.